Connor Siebold with us, the best hair in the state of Massachusetts and the best changeup perhaps in the Red Sox. You don't agree? What, the hair? Yeah. I mean, Daniel Gossett's on this team, dude. That's fair. Come on. Best hair maybe, best changeup in the organization. We're getting into it today here at Polar Park. Uh, this changeup, everybody talks about it. How'd it come to be? Uh, so, weird, I was in rehab a couple years ago, um, and it kind of, uh, it was kind of just something where I just started playing with the pitch, like I would throw like my, my change up just normally, you know, just playing catch with it, and then I started kind of like playing around with it, I'd start turning it a little bit more at the end, like right at the release point, so I get to like right here, and just kind of like see how much movement I could get from just turning it at the, at the last second, and it started going from from like just this to like that. And it just kind of went from there. Seabold ahead again, gets it right by him. So I've, I've uh, had the, the grip since college. So I start there and then I'll go finger over thumb. And then most of the pressure is coming off of these two fingers here. And I just turn it over like that. These are kind of just here for the ride. Same with the pinky. The pinky's just there to kind of stabilize. The key is just to feel like you get on top of it and pull down that way. Jeez, how about that? So you described it to me as reverse slider. So for the humans that don't exactly know what that means, like what do you want the batter to think as the pitch is coming? Um, I try and get it to spin like my fastball, so four seam's gonna spin like that. The changeup, I want it to spin the same way, just at a different axis, so it goes that way, and that makes it have movement that goes down that way and what I mean by uh, reverse slider is with the slider usually it'll go that way so it's essentially the same pitch except it goes the opposite direction you're a pretty cerebral guy like when it comes to pitching like just I just hearing you talk about it like you're you're into it have you always been that way is that kind of a shift for you uh for better or for worse yeah um I'll way overthink myself sometimes and that's kind of where I need to just like step off and you know, gather myself. Uh, I do think a lot on the mound. Like I said, sometimes too much for my own good. But um, I, I think it's a good thing just because you're, you're, you're in every pitch. You're thinking about what, like, circumstances. You're thinking about what pitch you go with next, uh, what tunnels best off of the pitch you threw previously. So, I, I mean, I, I like to stay on that stuff, you know? Let's talk 2021. Long year for you, obviously, and finally getting back into it. What, what's been the hardest part of all of this getting back here? Uh, you know, just kind of seeing or just watching from the outside looking in. Um, I spent two months down in Florida trying to get my elbow back. And, uh, you know, it feels great now. It's just like that lost time. It hurt, man. Especially like there was a stretch up here where like the boys were buzzing. Um, like I missed, I missed Duran getting called up. I missed the first time Connor got called up, and it's like I like to be there for that stuff, you know. So you can like congratulate him yourself, and you know that was tough. And then, um, I mean, I, I think there's still still uh, a lot of opportunities to be had, and you know, I think I've been pitching all right. I think there's a lot more left in the tank, and I think uh, we're just getting started. That might be it for Seabold. If it is, what a gem. Seven, one hit, shutout innings. I go to a quote that Billy McMillan said. He said, I think Connor can get to the bigs and pitch there for a long time. When you hear someone say something like that, what goes through your head? I mean, if Billy's saying it, I believe it. People will say that, you know, just kind of like, you know, just they'll, they'll say it because it's, it's the right thing to say to somebody. But, I, I mean, Billy says it, I, I believe it. I believe it. I mean, I think that I think that my, my time is coming, whether it's this year, whether it's next year, who knows, could it be sooner, could it be later. Uh, right now, I just kind of got to stay where my feet are and not worry about where I could be. And um, yeah, I mean, that's that's the key. Just not worry too much about what could be and just focus on what what is at the moment. We think you'll get there too. Connor Seabolt, thanks for the time. Appreciate it.